Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, man, machine, everything in between, to another Spotlight video for the Pokemon Marathon. This time, as you can see, we're playing Pokemon Stadium for the N64, right? So, I believe in my, um, in my, uh, fuck, I lost my train of thought. I always do this. I believe in my Pokemon Snap playthrough, I said that when it comes to the N64 and Pokemon, I was either playing Stadium, or I was playing Pokemon Snap, right? And a bunch of other N64 games while growing up. So, you know, I'm very familiar with Pokemon Stadium. I'm also very familiar about how many times I have made other friends and family mad at the kids club in Pokemon Stadium because I was unbeated, right? Undefeated. You can't defeat me. I'm too powerful. Okay? So, before we get started with this video, first of all, I should have tucked my notes out. I don't know when this game came out. 1999? Something like that? I don't know. Let me check. My notes are always, like, next to me, but they're never open. Right? So, quick little detour into the notes here. If I can find the fucking page that I'm looking for, I've really got to... Start having this damn thing on standby, like, ready to go every single time I do some bullshit like this. It's a lot of pages in my notes. I have a lot of, like, recipes for, like, soups and shit. And then a bunch of, like... Like, uh... Budgeting stuff for bills and shit. It's crazy. Alright, Pokemon Stadium, right? Pokemon Stadium came out April 30th, 1998 in Japan. This is actually Pokemon Stadium 2, right? Or Pocket Monster Stadium 2 in Japan. The first one we played earlier that only had like, what, 32 Pokemon or something like that? We played that earlier in the marathon. It's on the channel, Pocket Monster Stadium. You can check that spotlight if you're interested. But I mean, for the most part, it's just the progenitor to this game. And it's just in Japanese and that's pretty much it. And it doesn't have all the Pokemon in it. And so there's not, it's not really that crazy. So, with that said, let's take a deep dive here into Pokemon Stadium. So here in Pokemon Stadium, you can transfer your Pokemon from your Game Boy, right? You can head to Victory Palace. Hall of Fame is where tournament winners are shown status. Basically, you just check your shit. Pokelab, which I've never went to as a child, so I'm actually going to see what the fuck this is. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, I never- I was never able to use anything with this. Yeah. Pokemon Game Pack is not inserted. Turn the N64 controller deck off, then insert- Hmm. Yeah, I never- I was never able to do anything with that as a child, so I don't- I, I don't know anything about the Pokemon Lab. GB Tower, I think I only used it a total of once in my life. And then, uh, Victory Palace is- I mean, it's the Victory Palace. So... It's basically like getting those Pokemon to beat the Elite Four, and then, you know, they come over here. So here in Pokemon Stadium, right, you have the stadium, main attraction, you know, 3v3s, uh, single battles, and it's kind of just like a tournament, so it's nothing too crazy there. Free battle, which I'm pretty sure everyone in their family has played at some point if you had this game, where you and your opponent can take a full team of six Pokemon out of all 150, all 150, actually out of all 150, oh damn no, actually all 149 Pokemon, because in order to have Mew in this game, you have to transfer it, same thing with Mewtwo, I believe you have to transfer it. Either that or you beat the, uh, or you beat the Elite Four, I think, I think you transfer it, <laughs> right? So... We can all imagine the battles we must have had growing up, right? And just fucking going anything goes. Head to battle, rentals only. 
and everyone just chooses all the legendaries. My go-to was Zapdos. <laughs> now, this is obviously an emulation, I'm not gonna lie about that, so I was kinda hoping that within the emulation it would have both Mew and Mewtwo in here, but I guess not. Which I mean, eh, it's whatever, it's close to what I grew up with. It's also where I fell in love with Muck <laughs> and Grimer, because they look so cool in this game. You know, I had Haunter on my team, Gengar, this is where Gengar stood out a lot. Who else did I use a lot growing up? Damn, I'm going down memory lane right now. I mean, Zapdos, of course. I know a lot of people who used Articuno, Snorlax, Kabutops. Uh, Porygon I used once, I think, because I wanted to know what the fuck that was. Slowbro, this is where my true love for Slowbro started happening. Because I think Slowbro has Psychic in this game, yeah? Yes, you do. That's why I started loving you. Right? Arcanine, I use Arcanine. Arcanine has Dragon Rage. Yeah, Dragon Rage. For some stupid reason. <laughs> uh, Needle King has Earthquake. Yeah. There's certain things I definitely remember. I remember using Pidgeot and Pidgeot. Beedrill, Butterfree. Butterfree has Psychic? Butterfree has Psychic. It's crazy that I remember these. Charizard has... If I remember correctly, Charizard has Fly... No, not Fly. This is still during the time when Charizard couldn't learn Fly. He has Fire Spin? Fire Blast. Mm, I'm trying to remember. Fire Spin, Fire Blast... Some type of status move, Sword Dance, Sword Dance, that's what it was, and, and what is it? Is it Fly? I think it might actually be Fly. Either that or Sky Attack or some shit? Let me see. Fly, Swords Dance, Fire Spin, Fire Blast. I used Charizard a lot growing up, so the fact that I remember that makes me very happy. Blastoise has Hydro Pump, Blizzard, Body Slam, and Withdrawal? Skull Bash. Skull Bash withdraws Seismic Toss Hydro Pump. Okay. And Venusaur has... Where the fuck is Venusaur? Okay. Venusaur should have... Solar Beam is one. Razor Leaf, maybe? I want to say Toxic. And I want to say Leech Seed. Leech Seed, Poison Powder. Okay. So, Solar Beam, Leech Seed, got those. Not Toxic, Poison Powder. And not, um, what was the other one I said? Razor Leaf? Not Razor Leaf, Takedown. I remember Venusaur being able to poison people. <laughs> right? And if I remember correctly, Oddish or one of these motherfuckers have, like, Sleep Powder. That I used to use a lot as well. I'm going down memory lane right now. Gloom, Sleep Powder? No, is it Oddish? No, it has Petal Dance? Viaplume? Oh, Viaplume has Sleep Powder. Okay. Anyways. You know, we're not going to head to free battle right now. I know, I'm sitting here talking about Pokemon Stadium, and I have yet to actually play the uh, stadium part. <laughs> I'm going down memory lane. Let me enjoy this, okay? It's been, it's been years since I touched this game. I actually still have my cartridge and my N64 for this game, right? So, let me just have some fun right now, okay? <laughs> Anyways, here in Stadium, you have you have your multiple, uh, you know, your different tournaments, different levels for Pokemon, Prime Cup, Ultimate Tournament, anything goes, pretty much, Poke Cup, 50-55. Uh, I remember, I forgot one of these, like, I had a hard time winning. I think it was level 15 and 20, right? Those level Pokemon strategy are key here, yeah, so... Most of your Pokemon was... Most of your Pokemon in this one, I believe, you couldn't, relever, you couldn't rely on heavy hitting attacks because they were low level. <laughs> so you had to like, really do some shit. But since I was a kid and I didn't know what I was doing, I don't think I would ever win this cup. But more importantly, which I'm pretty sure everyone would go to straight up, is Gym Leader Castle. Here in Gym Leader Castle, this fucking soundtrack, menacing as shit, right? Here in Gym Leader Castle, it's exactly what it says. It's a castle with all the, of Kanto's Gym Leaders. So, you have three trainer battles and then you fight the Gym Leader. 3v3, single battle. And, of course, you can take, you know, you can use rental Pokemon or use your own Pokemon. And once you're done with all of that, you head to the Elite Four. And then you see if you can beat the Elite Four. 
right? I want to do Gym Leader Castle. So, of course, you start with Brock. Pretty easy. It's all coming back to me. Also, if I sound very weird, this, um, this video, it's because I'm very, 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 very sick. Um, my dog just jumped off the bed. What are you doing? Get over here. Why do you interrupt my, my recordings all the time? Little one? Please go sit. Now, obviously I can sit here and, uh, pick water types and grass types and stuff like that, but I think it'll be a nice callback to actually tackle the gym leaders with the Pokemon I had in my, um, Pokemon Red and Blue playthrough on the channel. So, we went with Venusaur, Kushnander, right? Our second Pokemon we got was, oh god, it's, I'm sick, so I can't remember off the top of my head. Who's the second Pokemon we got? It was... Doo -doo 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 Oh my god, why can't I remember? What is wrong with my brain? It wasn't Alakazam, that was the third one. Oh, oh, it was, um, King Kart. The King Kart. Magic Kart. So we had Gyarados. Alright, I'm going with our, our in-game Pokemon that we had. Then we had Alakazam. Then after Alakazam, we got Hitmonlee. Because, did they ever fix Hitmonchan in this one? Okay, they did, kind of. Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, Strength, Submission. But it still goes off of Gen 1 stats, so Special still shares the same thing. So, Thunder Punch and Ice Punch are fucking useless. Submission, I forgot how that even works. And Strength is really the only thing Hitmonchan can do. But we had Hitmonlee. Because Hitmonlee has High Jump Kick, Counter, Focus Energy, Strength. Okay, cool. And then our other two Pokemon was Marowak. Fire Blast. Bone, Bone Meringue, Thrash, and Focus Energy. That's not bad. And then our last Pokemon we had was... Error. <laughs> we called him Error. Porygon, Conversion, Psychic, Recover, Tri-Attack. I'm coming for that ass, Brock. I'm gonna crush this dude's fucking Pokemon. So, let's not... Let's not just come out the woodwork just swinging, right? So let's give them some leeway, you know? Oh, and the announcer! I forgot about the announcer, right? Also, for some reason, the computer seems to have shiny Pokemon. Alright, what are we doing? Or eight, eight. I jump kick, that'll be too much. Just go for strength. They go into battle posing. Here's the first move. A decent hit. Ooh, damn, Kakuna. Taking a lot of took a lot of damage there. Don't poison me, I'll fucking I'll kill you. What a furious battle. Okay, let's go for that stab damage. Actually, let's go for counter. Let's see what we can get off of that. Oh my god, well I can't counter a string shot. How did I miss- okay. Alright, fuck it, high jump kick. I'm having a hard time fighting a fucking Kakuna. What's that? It's made in death. Dude, just listening to How fucking strong are you, Kakuna? God damn. Fuck it, focus energy. Let's get that critical hit up. I'm already slow, Kakuna. You can't make me any slower. You damn right it is. Kakuna, you're really like pissing me off. What's that? The weak spot. 
Critical hit. There we go. Yeah, it is. Do I want to switch my Pokemon? Oh, I forgot. You can't switch your Pokemon. Ah, damn it. Maybe you can if you go into options or something. I love Caterpie. How will it affect battle? I'm gonna fucking kill that damn thing. Crush it under my boot. You can't lower my speed anymore. I always love Caterpie's animation when it got hit in this game. It like reels back a little bit, and it's like, and its little, its little legs just go, oh no, stop! I also loved how, like, seeing the sizes of the Pokemon, it's like Onyx versus Caterpie, and Caterpie is so fucking tiny. Tackle? Look at him go! <laughs> it's a hit, Monly. You're not gonna kill me with a tackle, Caterpie. Just stop. Aw, now it's dead. <laughs> that thing is dead. Let me guess, Beedrill? Be dry. Yeah, some of the nicknames in this. It's stupid. <laughs> um, well, not Alakazam, right? Because... Which is... How does it go? Is Psychic... Well, it's both Poison and Bug, so... Bug is super effective against Psychic, but Psychic is super effective against Poison? So I think I'm going with Porygon. Go, Porygon! Oh my fucking god, never mind Porygon, you're dead. How will this swap affect the outcome? Now recharge, bitch. Actually, let's go with Psychic. Let's see how, how, how that happens, how that works. I don't think it would be uh, that good. Oh, it is super effective, alright. Nice. Better not use Hyper Beam. You son of a bitch. Fury Attack, I'll take it. What'll it do? A decent hit. A psychic blast. That's right. Critical hit. Oh, Fuck him up, Porygon. Dude, the fact that I remember, like, every single sound effect and all of, like, the announcer voice clips, it's all coming back to me, right? I can't wait to play the Kaflari minigame where you're just hearing, Fairy, Fairy, Fairy. <laughs> Alright, I'm going with, um, pop, 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 pop. Get him! King of Cart. Magic Cart. Aw, oh, shit. It's Grass type. Fuck. Uh, take down. Was this the first time we ever saw, like, water Pokemon fight? Oh. Okay, it didn't do. It didn't do as much as I thought it would. You know, I just Dragon Rage your ass. Yeah, just Dragon Rage. Fuck you. Yeah, but I think this is the first time we ever see, like, water type Pokemon outside of the water. <laughs> right? So it's like, just became canon that's like, oh yeah, fucking water type Pokemon when they're not fighting. When they're not fighting, uh. In the water, they just float, I guess. Gyarados is scary. He's a scary looking dude. Oh. 
Stop healing yourself, Gloom. My flying typing isn't letting me get fucked up as bad as I should be. There's a big difference in HP. There is a big difference. If they send out, like, Bulbasaur or something, I'm gonna have to just, like, switch out, because fucking Gyarados is gonna have a hard time. Another fucking grass type, you son of a bitch. Uh, I'll tell you how it'll affect battle. With me going with Alakazam. Fuck him up, two scoops! Oh, it's Alakazam! What now? Alakazam, the Pokemon that's so smart that its body just had, like, muscular atrophy or some shit. What the fuck is Kinesis? I don't remember that move at all. What the fuck is Kinesis? That's a move? Does that still exist? What's that? There is a hit. What a furious battle. Alright, well, go ahead, use confusion. You don't have psychic? Fighting poses. What's this? Day. Ooh, damn, but your special is so high it doesn't even fucking matter. I gotta say, I always love the, uh, the battle effects for, um, for, uh, for Absorb, Giga Drain, Dream Eater, Dream Eater, did I say it like that? Wow. Dream Eater, Confusion, Psychic, Nightshade, I've always liked the, uh, the way it looked in this game. It's very hard for me to talk right now, I'm not gonna lie. One, because of nostalgia, two, because I'm very sick. <laughs> right? Just hit it with confusion, man. It'll die. There's the attack. Wow, that's an effective hit. Wow, take it down with one hit. Ugh, <laughs> you saw that. Ugh. The thud. The fucking thud it made when it hit the ground. Alright, Brock. Coming to get you, buddy. Ground types and a frar fetch. In a in a fucking Pidgey. Alright, um Let's go with I I don't want to choose Venusaur because it's just such an easy win, right? Uh <laughs> Well I mean I guess that's what happens when when you just got a good team, right? Ain't nothing wrong with this. Uh, let's throw you in there, and let's throw you in there. We're gonna start with Kushnander. He's going out. If there's any way to make me, like... Here's the thing. I love Bulbasaur. I love Avisaur. Venusaur looks weird, and this is why I think Venusaur looks weird. It's because of this fucking game. Venusaur constantly looks fucking high. It has, like, the eyes from, like, the fucking hyenas from, from, uh, the Lion King, right? It's got the same eyes as Bonsai, <laughs> or Shinzi, right? And every time it attacks, its eyes become bloodshot. Why am I using Solar Beam? I just realized that. I'm fighting a fucking Pidgey. Yeah, look at his eyes become, like, bloodshot. Like, you make you make me not like Venusaur. Why does his eyes got to start bleeding every time it attacks? It's in constant pain. I'm getting fucked up by a Pidgey, by the way. I just want to point that out. Oh, 
Is it down and out? Ugh, the thud. Oh my god, every time. Like, I can see, I'm be honest. I can see why people... I'm about to say something very... I'm about to, about to take a hot take real quick. I can see why people were upset with Sword and Shield and the animations for the Pokemon and stuff like that. Especially when you have games like this. And uh, when we get to Pokemon Revolution, we'll talk about it a little bit more. But at the end of the day, I mean, this was back when they had only like a hundred and something Pokemon, and now they're up to like 900 something Pokemon. And yes, yes, they're a multi million billion dollar company. But also, goddamn, man, that's a lot of work. <laughs> uh, let's see, do I want to go Thrash or Fire Blast? Eh, Fire Blast, fuck you. Wait, why do I have Fire Blast? Isn't Marowak special garbage? Just use Thrash, fuck it. My defense is too powerful. You cannot defeat me with such a silly move. What did I call Marowak in our playthrough? Oh, I called it Orphan. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> fuck it up, Marowak. It's recharging. I don't know what to think about Diglett, because in this game it looks like it has fur on it. I mean, not Diglett, my bad. Dugtrio? Well, same difference, right? The textures on it looks like they try to make it furry. Oh, it's Diglett! He's my little Niglet. <laughs> don't worry, guys. Calm down. I'm black, so I can say it, and that makes it all right. Because that's the society we live in now. Damn, Marowak. You still going? Oh, damn, I'm gonna be confused now. Let's see what Boomerang looks like. Earthquake, you cannot defeat me with such a puny move. I'm too powerful. Ah, I'm dead. Oh. That thing is dead. Oh, I'm down to my last po- oh, shit. Porygon, fuck it up. Just one aside now. Go, try attack. Right down to the one. Oh my god. What's that? I'm gonna die, aren't I? Critical hit! Oh, fuck yourself. <laughs> try attack. Try attack. There, it's a hit. Oh, it's down. And there goes the battle. One by Porygon again. Yeah, I'm out here getting my ass beat. Alright, Brock. I'm not holding out on you this time, buddy. I'm going all out. Ooh, Graveler. Okay, Frog Hard Team. Alrighty. Let's start with a little bit of uh, reassurance. Leech Seed. I knew you were gonna fucking do that shit. Dickhead. Cubone? Alright. It has to make up for lost ground. How will the type difference affect that? I'm gonna leech seed it again. I need some health. Papa needs some goodness, you know? What now? Yeah, it's a hit. Body slam, I should be good. What's that? A decent hit. Give me some of that health back. Just a little bit. 
Just a little bit, baby. I'm gonna start whittling you down. Because Venusaur's gonna die in like two seconds. Nothing but DOT, baby. Bone Club. Ugh. Get him, Alakazam! Fuck him up! Bend those spoons! Alright, what does Reflect do? Oh, Reflect is... Pure Defense? Right? I might as well set it up, because Cubone's not gonna fucking hurt me. Look at that! Reflect's doing his job. Get poison, and get my health back. Dots. Please get confused. Aww. What now? Oh, I'm what paralyzed. Fuck. You bastard. Neither one is succeeding at eight. Frisure? Oh shit. Is now isn't that a one hit kill? <laughs> it better fucking miss. What do you got, Brock? G, dude? Golem? What, what you throwing out? Golbat? Onyx. Onyx scares me. Uh, you're just pure rock, right? You're not ground type or anything, so... I'm going for the dig. Find a shit. And we're working on Gen 1 rules, so I don't get to have a turn. Yup. Dickhead. Uh, when is my reflecting and wear off? They go into battle poses. The attack is still continuous. There's a little damage. Fireworks are flying in this battle. This is really gonna hurt because my paralysis makes me slower than Onyx, so I can't even get an attack in. And if it just keeps using bind on me, it can just whittle me down slowly and slowly. I just gotta go for a confusion. I can't even worry about, uh... Reflect. Miss, damn it! God damn it! I guess I can just switch out for Gyarados, see what happens. Get hit with this hydro pump. Hydro pump. Perfect day. Wah, take it down with one hit. You're damn right. That's it. Stay clear. That's the king of heart. Magic cut. Give me the boulder badge, bitch. I'll take that off your hands. Alright. Receive a key from Brock and open Misty's tower. Alright. I should actually set my, uh, my team, right? So I don't have to keep searching for them every single goddamn time. Uh, where the hell is Gyarados? Oh, there you are. And then Porygon. Ooh, yeah, we got this in the back. Uh, well, I mean, the only, like, real grass attack move Venusaur has is fucking... Solar Beam, which is stupid. So, I'm gonna go... 
Alakazam, Venusaur, Hitmonlee. Here's the first opponent of this gym series. A decisive victory is expected. Go straight for the confusion. We're not gonna fuck around with this one. Here's the first move. Severe hit. Hypno oh shit. Haha! -ha! I'm too smart for you. You can't hypnotize me, bitch. What now? A savage hit! Oh! Is it down and out? What will the next Pokemon be? Oh, it's Seeking! Uh, I think Seeking has waterfall in this game, right? I'm gonna throw up Reflect. Just to protect myself. Waterfall is a physical attack. Wait, no, my bad. I'm thinking of fucking... Ugh. I'm still thinking about, like, future Pokemon games. My bad, I forgot. We don't have special attack, physical attack yet. So it's just straight up special. Because of the typing. So Reflect is pretty much useless. <laughs> the only thing that's really making me not die right now is that Alakazam has high special, so... That's what's protecting me. Oh my fucking god, just die seeking, for fuck's sake. There we go. Oh, it's down. There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokemon. You damn right there is. I'm going to win this shit. Oh, it's War Turtles. I never liked War Turtles design ever. I don't know why Squirtle turns into that things with like weird wings on its ears or whatever the fuck it is. I don't know, man. It's gross. Like blushies on his cheeks. Weird like super fluffy tail. I'm still doing okay. They go into battle post. What'll it do? A decent hit. All right, Gyarados can finish you off. Oh, you're confused now. Please hit yourself. Nice. There you go. Oh, is it down and, out? and we win. Good job, Two Scoops. You single-handedly destroyed the entire team. Alright. I'm gonna say that's pretty much the gist of it, right? You guys get it. So on and so forth, right? Oh, does it just automatically continu continue from... Oh. Continue? No, I don't want to do- Oh, you have to do it all in one? Oh, I forgot about that. Right? Um. So, you know, earlier stated, you got the gym leader castle, right, in your tournaments. You've pretty much seen the battling and how it goes down for certain Pokemon and stuff like that. You know, you can check it out yourself, right, through very, very legal means. If, uh, catch my drift you know you can pick up what i'm putting down right there and <laughs> check out pokemon stadium but what about the kids club you can't play pokemon stadium without going to the kids club <laughs> right so here in the kids club you have two two modes one is basically straight up competition you your friends or the computer whatever 
who's the best, who gets the most points, who wins. And then pick a game is, again, just pick out of all the mini games, right? So, here you have a total of nine mini games. You got Magikarp Splash, which is stupidly fun. Clefairy says, which is annoying. Run Rattata Run, which, little fun fact, as a kid, uh, I used to, I think I, t I think I said this in my fucking, in my red and blue playthrough, but growing up, me and my family used to pronounce Rattata as Ratatat, because <laughs> we're ghetto, right? So it was Run Ratatat Run, right? Ratatat Tat Tat. <laughs> and Run Ratatat Run was my favorite out of all of this. So she go around, you play as a bunch of Lickitungs and who can get the most food, the most points or whatever. You know, Thundering Dynamo, you have to wake up Pikachu, you're either playing as Pikachu or Voltorb or whatever. Uh, you know, whoever mashes the button the fastest wins, basically. This game is bullshit half the time, I swear. Snore War, uh, you and the opponents are a bunch of drowsy and basically a pendulum goes back and forth. And you have to hit the button at the right time, and if you succeed, you won't fall asleep, and whoever stays awake the longest wins. Uh, Ekans Hoop Hurl, basically ring toss. See who wins, you know, you gotta put Ekans over Diglets, and then there's Gold Diglets. The only time you'll ever see a Gold Diglet in your life. <laughs> uh, Rock Harden is actually... God. Rock Harden, Jesus, really? It's actually <laughs> a, uh, a, um... What's the word I'm looking for here? Resource management game, I guess, right? So you either play as Metapod or Kakuna, and all the players have stamina bars, and when the rock falls on top of them, you have to harden at the right time, or you can just hold the button down to harden like forever, but you're gonna use more stamina, and if you use too much stamina, you're gonna pass out, or you're just gonna get hit by the rock and you're gonna die. And then Dig 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 is just a, another button masher. Whoever wins, wins. So. Let's take a quick look at all this. We're going to start with Magikarp Splash. Go in order. So here, basically, you got to press the A button, make Magikarp, uh, ma Magikarp, <laughs> make Magikarp jump, but you also got to do it pretty fast, but also hold the button long enough so that you hit the top of the anvil? I, the, the counter, the pointer, I don't even fucking know, right? And this is pretty much the game, right? And trust me, a lot of family disputes would settle with this. Right? And then sometimes... Sometimes someone would come and win out of nowhere, right? But yeah, that's pretty much Magikarp Splash, or whatever the fuck it's called. Let's play a different game. We're gonna go through all of them. They're pretty fast, actually. But they were fun as fuck. Clefairy says, the most annoying one ever. It's basically, it's uh, Simon Says, right? But you have to remember it. So it's basically, you know, uh, yeah, it's basically uh, Bop It. <laughs> Clefairy. Clefairy, Clefairy. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, hold up. I forgot how we played. I thought, uh, my bad. My bad. I was too busy remembering everything the fucking Clefairy says. So you just gotta remember this and press it, so... Doop 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 doop. Doop 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 doop. And then you play. Yeah, you fucked up! <laughs> Used to talk a lot of shit with this. Growing up. Oh shit, I forgot. No, I got it. I got it. And depending on how good you were at remembering, this thing would go on forever sometimes. Okay, that's pretty easy. So, boom, 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 boom. There we go. And sometimes you would press the button and then you would realize you're missing one and you're like, Oh no, that means I fucked it all up! <laughs> Yellow is, like, on my sack. <laughs> Ooh, shit. Alright. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Uh, bop, 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 bop. Bop, bop? Oh, shit, I forgot. 
I fucked it up, didn't I? Ah! Uh! Yeah, don't fuck up, yellow. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. I fucked that up. Oh my god, please fuck up before me, yellow. Aha, you're dead. I win. No. Red, wait, wait, what? Red was still there? Oh my god, I thought Red died. Fuck you, Red. <laughs> Alright. So that was Clefairy. I fucking hate that game. Time for my favorite, though. Everybody's talking about, ah, oh, Temple Run and Subway Chaser and fucking, uh, whatever other Endless Runner game. Fuck you guys. This is where it all began. I forgot how to play again. Wait, which one am I? Wait, how do I jump? Okay, it's the up button. Oops. <laughs> I'm the blue one. I forgot which one I was for a moment. Fucking love this game. Fuck you guys. I leave you bitches in the dirt. Get on my level! I'm the best fucking rat there ever was! Tell Master Splinter to call me up! I teach the turtles a thing, th a thing or two, you know? Thing or three? I'm very sick, and this is making me very happy. That's Run Without a Run. Alright, time for Snore War! The thing about Snore War that sucks is that... For the mo- like... You do get feedback whether you're doing good or not, but sometimes the timing is fucked up, so... Eh, just see for yourself, right? Oh man, you're gonna prepare to hear a lot of snoring. Oh shit. Yeah, you're gonna sleep it, bitch. Start sleeping. Oh, now I'm sleeping. Fuck you. I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm about to fall asleep. Oh shit. Come on, survive. Ah, damn it. I'm gonna try again. I was robbed. They fucked up my timing. I was robbed. Oh shit. My dog is distracting me right now. Uh oh. Oh shit! Fuck, fuck! Die, Red! Die! Ha ha! Dude, when everyone starts snoring, you're just like, fuck. <laughs> Alright. Now, away from that button masher to another one. I'm a fucking Voltorb. Oh my god. Oh shit. Stop switching so much. Fuck you! So basically, uh. I had a crack in my I had a crack in my voice. Oh my god, it's not funny being uh, sick. So basically, 
depending on what color the button in the middle is that it changes to, you have to mash the corresponding button. So it's only A and B, but you know, green is for B because on the N64 controller, the B button is green and blue is for A. And you just alter alternate between mashing the buttons. Oh man. Dude, can you hear my dog like walking around with her fucking nail? I need to cut her nails. Get over here. You keep jumping off the bed for some reason. Why do you keep doing that? What do you want? You've been interrupting me in my videos lately. Are you okay? Then you should go sit down. For a couple more minutes, then we can do whatever you want. Alright. Sushi Go Around. This is a game where if you like to bully people, it's, it's fun. <laughs> You run around as much of a fucking fat lick of tongues. And these are the uh, point values for food. You don't want the hot tea, right? The hot green tea. And you basically want what I assume is salmon, right? The thousand points, you know, let's just, uh, let's just go for it. And sometimes chasing the, um, chasing the high value points isn't the right oh fuck you isn't the right strategy because sometimes getting lower points this is what I mean by people bullying each other and it's funny because you get in front of somebody and you start stealing their fucking food <laughs> no oh Oh yeah, and people start getting super greedy, so you start hearing <laughs> a lot of people fighting over stupid shit. That's mine, bitch. Don't touch it. No! Oh my god. Can I have, like, an orange one, please? Oh, what the fuck did I... Did that shit have wasabi on it? That's mine. No! I lost. Oh! Damn it. Yeah, I lost. Oh my god, Red, you're such a fat fucking fuck. At least I wasn't yellow, right? I'm gonna get this fucking strip roll. I think that one has wasabi. The green one. Give me that. That's mine. Oh no! Haha! Ah, oh, dogs are starting to bark. Stop pushing me out the way. Damn it! I got distracted by my dog. Fucking greedy ass fuck, yellow. Stealing my fucking food. <laughs> Doesn't help that my dog's barking. <laughs> fuck you, yellow. Get out of here. Ah! I lost. Green had a times five multiplier. Oh no, I won. Now I'm the biggest fat fuck. <laughs> Alright, let's play a different game and let me get my dog before she fucking barks some more. Alright, so next game is Ekans Hoop Hurl. Did you know that Ekans is snake backwards? Did you know that mitochondria is powerhouse of the cell? So basically, you take your uh, thumbstick. You'll. Oh shit. Oh my god, I'm having a hard time here. Oh. I'm having a hard time here. Get the fuck out of here, green. Because I am using a. Oh my god. Oh, I got one. Because I am. I am emulating this. The ones in front of me, I can't really get. Oh shit. No. Damn it! 
Like, even the smallest, like, flicker. Of the, uh... Oh my god, I gotta get that. Got it! It's really difficult, because I can't move my analog stick that much. Or I, like, overshoot it. No! Red, you better miss! Yay, we tied! There we go. <laughs> that was really difficult. My analog stick is very sensitive. We have Rock Harden. Rock Hard! So basically, you just press the A button, but you gotta, you know... Bing! Oh, shit! Ah, fuck, my timing is terrible. I got this. Oh! I don't got this. Ah, oh, shit. Can you other motherfuckers die? Come on, yellow. Ha ha! I'm the hardest motherfucker in the hood. Alright, and for our final game, another button masher. Dig, dig, dig. I remember constantly getting yelled at because people would think that I would cheat. But all I did was just press the buttons, you know? I just pressed them really fast. And then people got mad at me because they're like, Carol, I'm pressing it fast. And I'm like, you're too slow. You're too slow. I'm undefeated in this game. You're too slow. You're too slow. Don't get tired. And once you suck at alternating it, right? You're sand true. <laughs> like if you if you fuck up the rhythm of it, your sand true will stop for a second and you will lose precious seconds. I'm undefeated. Undefeated in this game. You can't beat me. The more you do it, the more your hand hurts. But you can't beat me. I'm too strong. Too fast. Sometimes you do it, you know, you do it with your index fingers and then those start cramping up. So then you do what I'm about to do and then you use your thumbs instead. <laughs> and then you really start going in turbo mode. And no one can stop you because you got these opposable thumbs, baby. And you're just going for it. You're just going for it. No one can stop you. Too powerful. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Can you tell that I've had a lot of fun with all these growing up, right? Oh, man. I need to sit down. Maybe for Thanksgiving, I'll, I'll like, grab a friend and we'll sit down and play some sushi go around or something. I don't know. Something to just, like, some real Mario Party shit to just make each other mad. <laughs> hey, motherfucker, stop that. Get away from my food. You fat fuck. <laughs> you stealing my sushi. Why you keep stealing my sushi, huh? It's like finders keepers. But anyways... That's pretty much it for Pokemon Stadium for this quick look, right? We've been going for about an hour-ish, right? So, I think it's great to stop it here. Um, oh my god, I'm gonna lay down because I am very sick and it's hard to talk and breathe and do all this at the same time and be excited. Uh, <laughs> so, if you like what you saw, please leave a uh, like and a comment and share it with the peoples, right? Get some more eyes on the channel, I would appreciate that very much. Right, that would be awesome. If you want to support me directly, I do have a Twitch. You can head over there. Uh, it's in the description below. You can head there. You can follow it. You know, if you have a um, if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can get a Prime sub, which is free for you. You get additional. You get one Prime sub or whatever. You can hand it whoever you want. You know, and if you just want to, right? If you want to get a tier one sub, right? You know, a lot of people hear the word sub and they get scared about it, right? Uh, tier one sub is just like what five bucks a month, I think. So, if you want to do that and support me that way, you know, directly, I would greatly appreciate it, right? Uh, and then I have my Twitter, right? That's in the description below. So, if you have any fan art or anything you want to, you know, send me or whatever, you can throw it to my DMs on Twitter. Those are open. And you can also, uh, you can just at me as well, right? 
you know, and if you have fan art or something, I'll put it at the beginning of my streams and stuff like that and put your Twitter handle and stuff like that. So, you know, so that's all that stuff. As for the Pokemon Marathon, the next time we come back to the Pokemon Marathon, I think... Do we have one more game after this? No. Okay. Yeah, the uh, next game and the Pokemon Marathon... Um, even though it's technically out of, or out of order, but I will get to that, I will address that when the when the playthrough starts, is uh, Pokemon Gold and Silver, right? But instead of playing Gold and Silver, we're going to be playing Crystal. Because, I mean, why play Gold and Silver if you can play Crystal? So, technically it's out of order, but who cares? So, next time we continue the Pokemon Marathon, we will be getting the Pokemon Crystal playthrough. And then, after that, I think... After that, I think, I think we're out of the Game Boy Color era of Pokemon. Maybe. I don't know. But I'll, uh... <laughs> I'll look, I'll fucking, I'll look into that, right? So, that's what's coming up. Over on the Twitch, currently playing Demon Souls at the time of this recording, but when this comes out, who knows, it could be a different game, right? And that's pretty much it for me. So, as always... I'm going to say thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully I'm not sick, right? So unlike me right now, stay happy, <laughs> stay healthy, and take care.